Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael and in today's tutorial, let's take a look at how to work with filters, which is part of the photo gallery options that is part of um, version 16 of WYSIWYG Web Builder. So as you can see, I have a couple of images over here, which um, has um, some labels or filters and once I click on them, they take me to images which are related to this particular filters or labels. So when I come in here, so you realize this is just for humans. And this is just for church. And when I come back to all, it shows me everything. So this is one cool way you can actually include a lot of images and make it easier for people to be able to browse through respective categories. So let's go ahead and head over to WYSIWYG Web Builder and take a look at how to go about this. So let me just go ahead and get rid of what I have in here and come to my toolbox and search for the photo gallery to here. So I'll click on my photo gallery and then I'm going to draw in here. So I'm going to double click on this and then I'm going to go ahead to add the images that I want to include. So I'll hit on add and then I'm going to select all those images that I would want to use as part of my photo gallery. So let me just go ahead and then select all the images and click on open and then go ahead and then click on OK. So as you can see, I have my images in here and let me just change how this is going to behave. So I would want this to open in a gallery that's in a light box instead. And then let me select pretty photo. So I'll click on OK and then I'll preview this. So as you can see, once I click on this, it shows in a pretty photo light box. So let me come back and then make my necessary changes. So I'll double click on this again. And this time around, I want to be able to add filters to it. So once you look at this particular section, you have filter in here. So when you click on the drop down arrow, you have empty list as well as edit. So when you click on edit, this is where you are going to create all your filters. And uh, you go ahead and hit on add. So in my case, I'm going to have a filter for humans. I'll click on OK. Go ahead and then add one for, let's say, church. Click on OK. And then finally add one for nature. And then go ahead and then click on OK. Now, the good thing about this is you can also change how you want this to show, especially the style of your um, labels or filters. So if you want to change the font um, property, that is the font type, as well as the colors, that is for both the font as well as the display of the label, you can go ahead to use the settings over here to do that. But in my case, I'm just going to leave this as it is. You can also even change the position of the filters or the labels are here. Now, let me just go ahead and then click on OK and come back to filter. So you realize that in this case, I have my filters created. Now, how do I apply these filters or labels to these images? It's very easy to do that. All you have to do is to click on the respective image, come to filter and then select which of the filters that um, correspond or applies to the image you selected. So in this case, this is going to be church. And once you click on that, you realize that under label, you have church in here. So this is going to be for nature. I select that and then select nature. Come here, come back to filter, select humans, scroll down, click on this under the filter. I select humans, the same for this, and then the same for this as well. You realize that um, I have been able to add my respective labels that is under filter to the images that I have in here. When I go ahead and then click on OK, realize that I have my filter here, which has the respective labels. When I preview this in the browser, you can see that when I click on humans, this is going to give me only humans. And then when I click on church, this is going to give me only church. Now there's one weird thing which is happening in here, and this has to do with the sizes of the images. Now, if you, you take a look, good look over here, realize that images are of different sizes and that's how come we have it being arranged this way. Now, to be able to change this to have equal size images, when you come back to the application, double click on the um, photo gallery tool and where you have the options under thumbnail size, um, click on the drop down arrow over here. Now, it is very important to note that all any of these options over here will work with the filter option except for the compatible. Now, this is what I mean. When you select compatible and then you click on OK, everything is going to show right. But when you preview this and you try to switch um, through the other 
um, labels, you realize that nothing is actually showing over here. So that is um, what it is in version 16. So to be able to have a function, come back here, change this from compatible to any of the options here. So in this case, I could select maybe two, um, 225 by 300. Go ahead and then click on OK and you realize that the images look stretched a bit. So to be able to have the images adapt to the thumbnail size that you've specified over here, you have to uncheck maintain aspect ratio here and then click on OK and you realize that at least there's a bit improvement. So if I preview this and come here, I still have my labels working. That's my filter working. When I come back in here, I probably would want to change this to something which has a square size. So uh, maybe 120 by 120 is going to work well. So as you can see, we have that here. And when I preview that, it's still giving me the um, filter option working properly. And when I click on this, I see the respective image. So when you come back here also, you can also um, go ahead and then change any other properties or options in here, which you would want to have as part of your project. But bear in mind that, the 120 by 120 size you specified over here isn't going to be responsive. So the best option to always go with is to use the responsive feature. And once you are using that also, you should also bear in mind that you should have all your images bearing the same size, unless you probably would want to have something um, which is going to look a bit different from um, having just equal size images. So this is what you are likely to have when you have the responsive feature selected using the filter option which is part of the photo gallery object in wizard web builder version 16 so that is just about it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching bye for now